Well, Leighton, win number 600 is now complete, an incredible achievement. I mean, when you were at the win number one all those years ago, could you imagine <laughs> you'd reach this sort of landmark? No, not at all. It's not something you think about whatsoever. And even today, I totally forgot about it when I was going out there to play. But, um, yeah, it's obviously something I look back on and be really proud of. And it means I'm getting bloody old, though. I've been around for an awful long time now. But, uh, yeah, you certainly don't take it for granted. Obviously, landmarks and achievements like this, as well as tournament wins, are something you all aspire to. But is it things like that that sort of keep you coming back, or is it still just the sort of match by match competitive, uh, a competitive buzz that keeps you coming back? Yeah, for me, it's uh, you know the Grand Slams, obviously, and Davis Cup is such a big part of it, and, and trying to help that next generation of Australian players come through, the younger guys, and and uh, you know try and be a force back on the tour again. So um, yeah, I enjoy coming though to these Master Series events, and especially the American Hardcourt Swing. Um, and I just love going out there and competing against the best guys in the world. You know, when I finally do hang up the rackets, you're retired for a long time. And obviously the, the match itself looked like a, a typically uh, determined display from yourself, especially after fighting back from that, that, that first set loss. I mean, how did you turn it around? Yeah, he, he played great. Robin played really well for a set and a half. Uh, it was tough conditions out there. It was quite windy. Uh, one end was a lot easier to hold serve than the other and um, just tried to hang in there as much as possible. He was serving really well and, and hitting his forehand well, so I had to try and you know, break that down as much as possible. I felt like I, I stepped on my returns a little bit more as the match went on. And when I was able to get uh, my teeth into that second set, then I felt like you know, I started to get the momentum and, and get the upper hand. Letting your reward for joining the uh, 600 club is, is another man, uh, a match against another man in that exclusive group, Rafa Nadal. Been a few years since you've beaten him, but always a match to savour. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Uh, I would have liked to have played him a few rounds later in the tournament, but uh, yeah, that's the joy of not being seated here in the, in the Masters Series. There's, every match is really tough, and obviously taking on the world number one, it's not going to be easy, but uh, yeah, that's why I still play the game, to, to have the opportunity to have a crack at, at the best players.